Tonight, this man is locked up facing a murder charge in the shooting death of a man in Burlington. One of two deadly shootings he's accused of. NBC5's Lauren Granada live outside the South Burlington Police Department where they're continuing to build their case against Denroy Descent. Lauren. Yeah, Brian, that's right. South Burlington police have a lot of information to work with regarding the alleged shooter in these two incidents uh, and de uh, Descent. He has a lengthy criminal history in this area and he has very close ties right here in South Burlington. We have a felony murder, second degree. 52 year old Denroy Descent appearing in court Monday morning, hours after police arrested him for allegedly killing two men Sunday night. Descent visibly squinting. When the police shot me with the bean bags, they busted oh, open oh, my arm and I, I lost my glasses. Okay. okay. I oh, I see. I yeah, can't I see. see. Descent pleading not guilty to second degree murder for the shooting death of Sheikh Noor Osman that happened at this Burlington apartment. Court documents say a witness in the room saw Descent shoot until he ran out of bullets, then calmly walk away. I need to get in touch with my wife so I could get some dollars on my books. Descent lives in South Burlington and owns Island Passion Foods at the University Mall with his wife. He's no stranger to law enforcement with over a dozen incidents recorded. My knowledge of his history goes back about a year plus. Now, South Burlington police are continuing to build a case against Descent for the second killing. The shots went off right next to my head, or my, mine and my wife's head. He's accused of allegedly shooting 37-year-old Brian Billings here at the Swiss host motel and village. Jordan Martin was Billings' next door neighbor. I would not expect this. He's a family man, good person. Give you his shirt off his back. Officials still working to figure out what motivated these two homicides, but don't believe it was related to illegal drugs. We'll be moving forward with charges with this Chittenden County State Attorney's Office. Now, there are still a lot of details that we are waiting on to figure out how this is all connected. Once South Burlington police charges dissent, we should know much more. We will continue to keep you updated on this case. For now, we're live in South Burlington. Lauren Granada, NBC5 News.